Blake family is uh, demanding justice. Fire, charge, and convict. The growing list of demands aimed at the Kenosha Police Department after the man who shot Jacob Blake returns to work. And that is our big story tonight at 9, bringing their demands for justice right to the front of the police station. That is where a small group of protesters are at at this hour, blocking the entrance to Kenosha PD. They're demanding the department fire the police officer who shot Jacob Blake last August. Brett Lemoyne is live there with the group's other demands. Brett? Yeah, well, they tell us they want to speak directly with Kenosha's police chief, and they say they are not moving until they can do so. As you mentioned, Officer Rustin Chesky now back on the force, and the Blake family wants him fired. No justice! Sunday afternoon, no peace. it starts in the streets. We're not here to ask for anything. We're here to claim what is due to us. No justice! No peace! A march through Kenosha draws attention to a long list of demands from the family of Jacob Blake. Rustin Shesky is back on duty. Um, albeit it's desk duty, he's still back on duty. <laughs> Rustin Shesky shot Blake seven times last August, sparking days of unrest. Kenosha's police chief says Shesky returned to work on March 31st after being placed on administrative leave. Shesky was not charged with any wrongdoing. I feel the bare minimum that the city should have had a conversation with the family and with the community to prepare us. Tanya McLean, the executive director of the group Leaders of Kenosha, says Shesky is also under investigation for a missing service weapon while on leave. Fox 6 has not independently confirmed that with the department. Shesky lost his weapon, so he's being internally investigated, but yet he's at work. The group's march ending at the front door of the Kenosha Police Department. We don't get it. Shut it down! With their arms locked, several block the entrance with the promise not to move until their demands are at least heard. We only speak with Chief Daniel Miskinis or J Deputy Chief Eric Larson. Blake's father telling us he wants the department to fire Shesky. Seven times in my son's back for a pocket knife is not justification. Now, just within the last five minutes, two sheriff's deputies came out and spoke with the group. The group reiterating they are not moving until their voices are heard. We also reached out to Kenosha PD for comment uh, about this list of demands. We are told that the department is aware of the list, but they have not yet been reviewed by the chief's office. Reporting live in Kenosha, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. All right, Brett, thank you. One man is dead.